Hey, this is Don Johnson, Airbrush the Magazine, with another artist interview like we've been doing. This is continuing in the series. I have to thank Tammy at Tamco Paint, Jack at Jewelers, and Kenneth at Fisheye Filters for, uh, so there you go, <laughs> all three of them, <laughs> um, for, for helping support these interviews in the magazine. Uh, tonight, it's my honor to be talking to the Big Wayne. Um, We've been friends for a long time, and it's really nice to finally meet him. So, Wayne, introduce, your, introduce okay. yourself. Right on, Don. First, I want to thank you for, man, for everything that you do. You're kind. You're out there. You're, you want people, you know, to put their input and putting out this magazine again for us, you know. You're a true inspiration. Your work is just mind-blowing, incredible, and thank you. fantastic, man. You do a fantastic job. So, I, yeah, I appreciate this opportunity. Yeah. that you're giving me and it's truly nice to meet you finally as well so <laughs> um yeah I'm I live um in Taylorsville it's yeah just like 15 minutes out of Salt Lake City and yeah I was born and raised here in that beautiful place nice mountains around here and how's the, lakes and that so how's the weather this time of year Oh, man, it's like about 105 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Actually, it's like up in the 60s today, but, yeah, the winter gets pretty cold, like about 20 degrees. Well, we're, that, so. we're, running the yeah, AC, we're running the AC in Florida today already, so <laughs> it's, oh, it, man, man. It, it's going to be a hot summer. Wow. Yeah, plus you get all that humidity there, right? Uh, you may, I'm, in the, <laughs> I'm in the middle of the state, so we get no sea breeze, so the humidity is just in the summer it's a crazy oh um, yeah i bet yeah i was in texas and that and yeah the humidity i just like wipe my face every second you know it's pretty bad but yeah. well, I'm, from, I'm from colorado mostly and oh really so, yeah so for me you know it's dry there and here it's like you wash your hair you go outside and it's still wet yeah, yeah right on. Yeah, so that's a big change from Colorado to there yeah. where you're now. I like your t-shirt. I like your t-shirt. Oh yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, my good friend Don, <laughs> Airbrush the magazine. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's comfortable, man. Yeah, they turned out good. I'm happy with them. Tell yeah, me, really nice. So, how long have you been airbrushing? Give us your little um, history. Almost, almost nine years now, and that so. Yeah, actually, I've thoroughly been enjoying it. It's, you know, it's been great hobby, and I have my small business with it that they do on the side, and so. It's also a great community. I mean, the Airbrush community on Facebook, Instagram. I mean, you become friends like we have. It's pretty neat. For sure. It's pretty neat the way it's the way it grows like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you meet all these friends and that, and like I have, I met friends, and like you go to events or, you know, the different classes they have everywhere, like Orlando and all that, and you finally get to meet them, you know, so. Yeah. You know, it works out really good, so. What it's like, you, yeah, if you know someone, it turns into like a big family, you know, everyone, and everyone's really nice, you know. Yeah. Good what? people, good artists, and. Man, there's yeah, some phenomenal artists from all over the world now. It's just, the internet, Facebook and Instagram have really opened it up. Now we're seeing people in Europe and that we've never seen before, really. I mean, you know, before Facebook and Instagram, it was airbrush forums or, you know, uh -huh. separate little websites. So the social media has really exploded what we get to view and what we're exposed to artist-wise. So I, I find that fascinating. Yeah, that's true. How much do you think it's progressed, like, since you started? airbrushing like up to this time like the percentage wise of, of people actually airbrushing i think in the last couple of years it's probably taken a sort of a downward trend a lot of people are going from airbrushing to tattooing mm. but you know I, th I think it needs to be pushed as a hobby i think a lot of times it's pushed as uh, a career path and I, I'm not sold on that. I mean, I've been airbrushing professionally for a long time. It's a hard way to make a living. It really yeah. is. Until, you know, they say it takes five years to establish a business. With airbrushing, it probably takes ten years. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Yeah, 
talking so. to friends and that, yeah, that's the, uh, they're saying, and like you said, seeing, you know, some going to different, yeah. like tattooing and different things, you know, it's, yeah, yeah think, it's uh, <laughs> pretty I, tough. But. I think if you find your niche, like Steve Levy does the miniature things, and I do, oh, I, I do pretty much just helmets, and Polly just does the old car look. I think if you find your niche like that, something you're real passionate about, it really helps um, in that respect. For sure. Yeah, those guys you mentioned, oh, they're incredible artists, man. Yeah, I first saw um, Steve Lee's work, uh, paint on a <laughs> razor blade. Razor blade, yeah. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I think it was like a big one at first, you know, but... Yeah. I realized you know, the hand was there holding it. It's like, no way. <laughs> you, you <laughs> yeah, see, that's a, that's see a, a word. See a picture of a dying next to it. That's even more amazing. Yeah, uh, every, yep, exactly. Every time <laughs> I see one, I just, my eyes get sore. Just thinking about <laughs> the fact you're staring at something so small. <laughs> he pulls it off. He does a great job with it. So. For sure. Yeah, he must have eagle eyes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Or very thick glasses or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you enjoy airbrushing the most? What do I enjoy most about it? Well, what surface? Yeah, and most about it. Um, Actually, I like painting on mostly everything, but, yeah, mainly metal and that, like tailgates and helmets yeah. and guitars. And I've done, like, antlers before. Yeah. You know, Pretty much the same thing, and if I do like a shirt or antlers, I might use like a water-based paint, you know, and then helmets, motorcycle tanks, and all that, you know, your things. But yeah. I'll just kind of go back and forth, you know, what I think, like paint-wise. Yeah. But I like doing, yeah, I like I like doing hard surfaces myself, metal, and yeah, fiberglass. The paint's a little less forgiving than uh, t-shirts or illustration board, but it's fun. Yeah, when I do those antlers, you have like all the, you know, Ridges. roundness and divots to it, and you're like, <laughs> that's over exaggerated, but. <laughs> so, how, how did you become interested in all this? Oh, you had to ask that question, then, uh, <laughs> Don. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I think Mike Learn would be ashamed of me on this one. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I've been into music all my life and um, been playing guitar since I was. 14 years old. So actually, um, yeah, I've been playing, I started st studying classical guitar for like 15 years in that. So I was like starting to learn some new stuff, right? And I look at the, on the bottom of my guitar and there's like a, like a little indent. It was just like in the clear though. And of course, me being kind of nitpicky, you know, I, I can stand looking at it. <laughs> You're going to fix it, right? <laughs> Yes, I had to try to fix it. And <laughs> I put um, nail polish on it, and it just, oh, <laughs> it messed up. As soon as I got sandpaper out, you know, I started digging into it and stuff. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is nuts. <laughs> and so I was thinking, oh, this looks horrible. Even though it was like a little spot, you know, like about a, you know, inch mark. I started looking the phone book, and seen if someone can airbrush <laughs> airbrush it over you know brush something on for me over that spot that was damaged and and then actually yeah the full time i've had job i've had um i have an airbrush there i would just do like shadowing work there mm -hmm. so i asked my boss if i could borrow the airbrush and i figured no i'll give it a try see if i can do it myself <laughs> <laughs> you know i got some paint and i tried i was like man this is this is pretty cool, you know? Yeah. And so I just, so stuff, and of course I thought it was spectacular. It looked like total crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but basically, yeah, by messing up my $1,500 classical guitar, that's how I started airbrushing. And <laughs> Are you listening, Mike Learn? <laughs> I know, yeah, uh, Mike, uh, don't cringe too much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see Mike in May down in uh, Texas, so it'll be fun. He yeah. Does, he does phenomenal work. He's a great artist. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the nicest, yeah, he's the nicest guy artists. in the world to talk to, too, when you when you finally meet him. So. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I'd like to meet him someday. That's awesome, man. So, that is so cool. 
after the guitar incident, how did you learn uh, to use the airbrush better? Actually, YouTube. Yeah. The first one I saw was you. <laughs> and I'm a, no, seriously, and yeah. you started doing, you're there, you had your, you know, your board and standing up and you're doing like the dots and dagger strokes. Yeah. And that, and I was like, you know, that's cool and stuff. And, and then I saw like, um, actually there were some that would do it for you, like Jamie Rodriguez and Ryan Townsend and Ed Hubs was on there as well. And with Craig Frazier and, you know, yeah. and that. And so anyways, um, when I saw yours, I was thinking, man, I wanted to start digging in the art right away, you know? So I started trying to paint right away and, I try to skip that part <laughs> of, learning, of learning the basics and it cut up to me where I had to reverse back and, you know, start with the basics. Yeah. And so, um, actually I started watching YouTube more and there was like, you know, Mike LaValle came up and it was like, man, I thought that, that fire that he does, you know, it's like, that's killer. And so I looked up to see where he was going to teach and little did I know, he's teaching like 10 minutes away from me here. No kidding. Wow. And I was like, no way. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's an air affair. So, I, you know, that's where I met him. And I took like a few years classes there with, you know, a bunch of killer artists and that. And oh, great. So, yeah, I started up from there. and Nobody does that. that. Nobody does that fire like Mike, though. I mean, he's oh, he perfected, yeah, yeah, he not, perfected but, yeah. it. I just oh, yeah, that guy's brilliant, man. <laughs> I was watching him early, earlier tonight. He had a Facebook Live going. So it's always interesting Love to watch him and then to listen to him. You can always learn a lot and hear a lot of good stories. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, man. I talked yeah, to he's him. a great guy, too. Nice, very nice guy. And I talked to him. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. I talked to him about a month ago, and he said, you know, you need to get some banners behind you when you do these interviews. <laughs> so, Mike, there's the banners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was right. He had some really solid and good advice. And uh, I'm yeah, happy to talk to him. So, or he can do like a his helicopters or boats he's painted too behind him. <laughs> yeah. No, he was kidding me about being Don Johnson from Miami Vice. So I told him I was <laughs> I told him I was going to get some banners of palm trees. <laughs> oh, that would be good, man. <laughs> that or Don Ho or something. Yeah, well, Jack was good enough to send me a Trulers banner, so we're all good. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah Trulers and uh, Fish Eye and Tamco, they're man, they're great. You know, they go the extra mile and they gave me extra stuff and. If you need something, they're right there to give it to you. And well, not only that, they're supportive of the whole airbrush community. You know. What I yeah, mean? that's um, true. Yeah, exactly. Both Tammy, Ken, and Jack have been just great with everybody that I've ever seen. So. Yeah, they have. Yeah, very awesome. Very awesome people. So. So, if somebody watching this who hasn't airbrushed or custom painted before, what advice do you have? Don't do what I did. <laughs> Don't mess up something. <laughs> I would say, actually, yeah, start with the basics, you know, with your dagger strokes and dots and connecting them um, all different directions, left to right, right to left, up, you know, all different directions yeah. to try to build up that way. And, you know, you you got to have patience. And um, like I worked on paintings of that before, it all goes good and you get stuck in that one spot and you start getting irritated, you know, and it's like, that's probably the time you might want to walk away, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, ease your, you know, mind a little bit and then come back to it well, and, um, and then go back for it, you know, so you don't start breaking airbrushes or throwing <laughs> airbrushes across the room. <laughs> that's happened a few times. <laughs> yeah. I posted a picture of my airbrushes on my storyline, and I shouldn't have done it because I haven't cleaned them in a long time. And uh, oh, yeah. Gerald gets on there and puts a crying face on there because, you know, I, the airbrushes were dirty, and I 
<laughs> I uh, apologize, <laughs> Gerald. I will clean them. <laughs> They're clean yeah. inside and they function, but uh, he was right. They are dirty. Yeah. And they need to be <laughs> yeah, Gerald in particular. He's oh yeah, he, yeah. That guy's amazing too. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah he does phenomenal art. He's awesome. Anything Actually, else? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I thought I was so happy with this. Like when I first started airbrush, and I thought it was like the best. <laughs> <laughs> you actually framed like, it, huh? <laughs> I was like, man, this is cool. I'm going to make millions off of this. <laughs> but actually, um, I have this painting. I've always liked Royal's work. And actually, this is my favorite piece ever. I haven't even posted it yet, but I'm still working on it. But actually, oh, it's wow. a woman wigger. That's beautiful, eh? That is Thanks cool. I, I tried to get it in there if you can see yeah, it. Oh, yeah, we can see it. It's great. Now, what is awesome. that on? A metal, yeah. That's a metal panel? Yeah, that's a metal panel, yeah. yeah. I always wanted to do it, and I've never really done anything for myself. It's always been, you know, the customers and that, so... Oh, that I said, I'm finally doing something for myself. So oh, that was, that <laughs> it's been one, enjoyable. Oh, it's that really one, fun. That one's a keeper. It's beautiful. Excellent job. Thanks. I appreciate that. Cool. I appreciate you showing everybody for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you get a sneak preview. <laughs> yeah. And everyone, everyone out there, man. Oh, Don, this, these are great magazines. Don had the other magazines way before and he started back up with the uh, Airbrush the Magazine. Man, there are phenomenal Airbrush women, you know, men. I mean, they're all great friends. We're all friends on Facebook, but yeah, yeah you've done a great job of, Thank you. you know, how you outlined everything and the publishing and the clear pictures and Thank you. The whole outline. Really nice, man. Nice job. Thank you. Nice job, dude, for all of us. So. Thank you. I think everybody will really love issue two when it comes out. We have some phenomenal artists already in there. so I'm working on it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, looking forward to it. So I, I appreciate all your support, Wayne. I really do. It means a lot to me personally. So. Yeah, you're welcome, Don. I, I appreciate you as well, man. You're an awesome friend and, cool. you know, brilliant artist. I love the helmets that you do. You know, all the graphics and stuff like that, that's, you know, that gets to be tough doing all that, trying to line up everything, you know, the different yeah, designs and that. But that's the challenge of it. That's why I like painting helmets is to get it symmetrical and everything. And, you know, you're measuring 16th of an inch. If it's, oh, not, man, if it's yeah. not right and you put the visor on, it doesn't look good. So it's got to be done right. And that to me yep. is a challenge, you know. I think painting and airbrushing especially is just a matter of problem, problem solving. You know, you yeah. always run into a different problem no matter what you're airbrushing, t-shirt, helmet, motorcycle, there always comes up with something that it makes it challenging and fun to solve the problem. Yeah, well, apparently you mastered it, so... <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> maybe not, another 25 years, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Is that how long you've been airbrushing? Yeah, pretty much. How long you've been airbrushing? Pretty much about 25 years, I guess. I started yeah. the YouTube channel, I think, in 1998 or 99, somewhere in there. Wow, that's awesome. A long time ago. That's awesome. Yeah, I look up to guys like you and stuff. You know, i got a lot to learn. There's always something, you know, new to learn. And Well, I have a lot to learn, too, so we're in the same boat. If people, yeah. <laughs> if people want to get a hold of you on social media and stuff, you want to give what contacts you want to give, website? Um, I I do Facebook and Insta I'd have Instagram, but gosh, I haven't been on it. I don't really do too much. You know, I should, but should to actually upgrade that. But mostly I have Facebook under my name, Wayne Highboom, or I have my business, Infected Art Airbrushing, mm -hmm. also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. cool. So either my name or that. You can find me, you know, find all my work on there, and you should you should update your Instagram thing. Instagram is great. You know, Facebook is nice, but as you go through your news feed, you're always going to see some political stuff or something. 
Insta yeah. Instagram, it's just basically art. You know what I mean? And I enjoy that part of Instagram. So. Yeah, I'll have to actually get more involved with that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of work from Instagram, too. So Probably more, no, more how I get more helmet jobs from Instagram than Facebook. So. Yeah, that's, it's wow, a good, that's it's, good. It's a good marketing tool. Awesome. Y'all have to actually do that more. <laughs> Anything else? Can I give with? a shout out? Yeah. Can I give a shout out to all my friends on Facebook? Yes, sir. All the all my friends and artists out there. I appreciate you know all your influence and your positive thoughts and you know you guys are just you're great friends. Man, it's just man, it, yeah, it's just positive, you know, vibe out there and I really appreciate everyone's support and you know the love that they show me. So, well, you, yeah, I just want to thank everyone for doing that. It's it's you're, great. You're just getting back what you put out there, bud. I mean, you're all, <laughs> you're always so supportive and so positive. Um, you, you know, that's what you're going to get in return. That's what I think, anyways. So. I appreciate that. Sur surprise, Don. No. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. That's awesome, man. It was great meeting you, Wayne. It really was. You too, Don. Yeah, finally good to meet you, man. Yeah. You're awesome. I look forward to publishing your article in the magazine, too. <laughs> right, right on, man. I appreciate it. So start writing tonight. <laughs> okay, yeah. Be up till 3 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> right on, Don. It was great seeing you, Wayne. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, you too, Don. Hang on. Have a good night, man. Hang on one minute.